Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll talk about the PayPal integrations or how we can show the PayPal button in your service portal. So this will be uh, a lengthy video. So I am going to create two separate video which will cover all these PayPal integration one by one. Okay, so first of all, uh, you can see this PayPal button is uh, visible in my portals and this is for the donation, but you can integrate with any of your uh, payment uh, purpose. So first of all, uh, you definitely need to have a PayPal account in your PayPal site. I'll do and create a uh, sign up one by one for you um, in the video. So once you click that PayPal uh, here, it will open and it will ask for $500 because the donation amount we have uh, set at the 500. So here is the username and I should provide the password here. And once I click login, uh, the PayPal account I have, it will be logged into that PayPal account and from there I will make a payment uh, that $500 and that amount once I make a payment the amount will be transferred to that um, uh, the trans it will be transferred to my account so you can see uh, the username is John Doe and the balance uh, the $500 I am going to make a payment and the uh, payment I am doing from my PayPal account only you can do the if you um, if you integrate with your credit card or debit card you can make payment from the credit card or debit card and then once I click the pay now the, the amount will be transferred to my um, PayPal account and uh, you will get a confirmation message in your um, top that uh, the PayPal uh, we receive the, your payment okay some case if you don't make a payment like you open this pop-up and you don't make it like the credential is wrong or something like that happens which is uh, not a correct the message will be changed and it will be show that payment got cancelled so this is your paypal account is open and if i uh, make a cancel you can see that it's showing the payment cancel so basically this is integrated uh, with uh, my account so whenever someone make a payment the amount will be transferred to my account only so let's get started So first of all, um, to integrate with your ServiceNow instance or any of this your instance, right, or any of your uh, application, first of all, you need to create an account in the PayPal. So I am in that developers.paypal.com. So this is the PayPal's um, development site. You need to click the login to dashboard. And here you need to uh, sign up. So I'll uh, quickly put my, all my information and quickly create an account here. So after you sign up uh, completely, uh, you will be able to log into the paypal.com uh, um, this website. Now we have to flip to the developers.paypal.com uh, and uh, log into with our credentials. So after you log into the developers.paypal.com, uh, this is our home page for the paypal's developers. Uh, um, home page. So you need you can see in the right side it is showing the my name and then uh, help. So I should go and click the dashboard. So it will help me to land to my dashboard. So in this uh, uh, dashboard, there is two things in that papers. One is the sandbox, another is the live. What is the sandbox and what is the live? So sandbox is nothing but a temporary account for playing or sending the transaction and receiving the transaction. This is a this is a temporary account, okay? And another is the live. Live account means that you need to put your uh, live credentials and then the real transaction will be happen so there will be two things one is the sandbox account for development you do the development you do a testing complete your testing and then you need to move to that live account okay so first of all in that um, developer start paper accounts i'll quickly guide you that so these left side all are your applications so here if you click the my apps all your application is showing uh, will be show here right now we don't have any applications here is the my account if you click the my account <clears throat> uh, there are all these uh, details you don't need to bother at the all those stops and if you click the accounts there will be um, two default account one is the personal account another is the business account so what these two are so these are the um, account uh, where you will be receive your amount okay so business account is nothing but the account where you will receive your money okay so if i am um i i, I am 
so I am building a application for my site, right? My applications or my website. All the amount will be transact transaction and all the transaction will be sent to my account only, my business account only. Okay. So if you click here, view and edit, you will be able to see the business account details. So you can see that account first name, last name. So test account name. I just put that. You can change that. This is my email address and. Uh, there will be a password you can change that password okay and this is the account id all the amount will be transaction to this account only all the amount will be transacted to this account only okay you can see right now this account balance is this uh, 1906 because this is a sandbox account right so this is a temporary account so if you click and go to that because if see these all are sandbox sandbox account once your application will be live your amount and everything will be uh, transferred to your actual account okay so um, first log in to your developers.paypal.com and you go and create a application first okay so if you see my apps I'm going to create a one application click the create apps here you need to um, put the name okay so I should put the name equal to service now okay and uh, you can see this is the sandbox business account um, uh, which I should be select that so here is the challenge here you cannot put your uh, text called service now or uh, you cannot put the text equal to service so we are going to remove the service and then uh, I'm going to add that my app okay and then uh, you should select the business account for which the amount will be transaction right now we do we have a business account called ROHC facilitator eo.com and then click the create app once you click the create app it will create a application for you okay once your app is created you can see this is the client id and this is the client secret for these applications okay uh, and here is the all these other stuffs okay so again if i click the my apps and credentials you will be see uh, this is my application which is right now showing okay if I click the live one, there is no application built till now because for live, it will be real transactions happens. So I have not built any um, application for live one. Now go to that accounts once more time. You can see this is the facilitator account, right? So click the view. The all the amount will be received to this account. We can click and edit that. So I'm right now putting that service now app okay and this is our email address you can change that email address if you want and if you go to that app credentials you can see right now my app is showing because we whenever we are creating the application we select that this is the business account where the amount will be transferred funding if, if you want you can edit the fund because this is the sandbox account we can uh, dummy create some amount here and we can see the all the transactions right now okay so uh, and then all these stops and then save that so your first thing is that your application is right now ready this application is uh, successfully created okay and uh, the application name is the my apps and then the application is set it with that one of the default account that is the CET uh, facilitator at the readyhow.com so by this account you will be receive all the transactions okay so you can create multiple accounts so like um, business account or pro, uh, personal account so click the create account I am going to create one more personal account here uh, you can select the state and click create So you can see this account is created right now and I can click and view and edit this account details. Okay. So this is the system generated username password and this is the email address. And if I scroll down, um, 
so if I go to the funding there is right now zero fund I can put the uh, five thousand um, dollar add to this account for the time being okay and close that so right now these account have five thousand dollar whatever the things is that okay so now uh, let's uh, let's um, log into the sandbox instance and try to send the amount from this um, this account to the this account this is because of facilitator account right where we will receive the amount right so let's log into the sandbox account so this is the sandbox paypal.com um, account here or oh, we should be able to log in and all the transaction will be happens it's a virtual we are not actually dealing with the real amount right now because it's in a sandbox right now so when you move your application from sandbox to the live the whole transaction will be happening in the real world but right now all these you can see I'm loading amount I'm checking all these things are happening virtually it's actually not transferring any amount okay so now go back to your uh, dashboard and uh, click and click the view edit I should get the credential from there only so I'm getting the credentials from this this is the email address I should click the login I'll put my email address here and here is the password system generated password I'll paste that and click login once I log in this is my sandbox account as I mentioned right now here is the uh, $50,000 right now you can see uh, the amount is showing here now I can send the amount and I can um, I basically I can do a transaction okay but this is a sandbox it will not go at it will not deduct actual amount you can see that this is my PayPal balance right now okay so what I will go I'll I'll check first of all I'll check that the facilitator whoever is the facilitator they can receive my amount or not so I'll copy this facilitator email address here and click the send amount put the facilitator email address select the facilitator email address and here I should select the amount what whatever amount I want to send so I should select that $500, uh, $500 I want to send okay I'll click the continue you can see there is a one error pop-up message is coming so there this is happening for most of the users they are complaining about that okay so this is one of the issues here right now so what we are going to do I am going to again here and create one more account and this time um, the region will be United States and click the create so there is one more account is created and you can see the country is the US right now so uh, get the credentials I am going to log out first of all from here and now you can see uh, it is uh, basically uh, saying that you can make a transaction right so click next Uh, you can see that um, this is the payment page and this is your uh, shipping address and you can send the payment now so you have you have successfully sent the amount to the facilitator so what is happening right now the issue is happening so except the US country um, basically they are not uh, allowing um, to receive to the facilitator so some issues in this account so if you have faced these types of issues uh, please create a uh, account with the US account um, and then you can personal account with the US account and then send that okay so the first of all you just see the process how we can send the amount okay and if, if I log in log out from here and log in with this facilitator uh, email address which is I just received so right side you can see my name is right now showing the service now and then um, money in last seven days at uh, this man this much amount I have received last uh, 
seven days basically and the total balance is this is my total balance so if you see um, if you go to the activities uh, so you uh, activities and I am in the activities right now you can see all the transactions uh, in between our um, uh, during our um, demo all this transaction is receiving in this account $500 uh, dollar, all this am amount I am receiving right now okay so that's the way you you have to confirm that you are receiving the amount your facilitator account okay now that's it for the today in the next sessions I'll tell you that how you can configure so these things are all about your set up your developers account in the sandbox right or set up your account in next video I'll say uh, tell you that how you can configure that is in your service now